Hi everybody, I'm back. And today, today I'm gonna to show you all how to make beefaroni. When is the last time you all have had beefaroni? Well, we're making beefaroni today at the Young's house. Here's what you will need. You will need ground beef, and that's what I have here in the pan. And I've turned that on to a medium high heat. Over here in my wok, I have water that I'm bringing up to a boil and I'm going to salt that water. Once the water comes to a boil, we'll start to boil our elbow macaroni noodles. The rest of the ingredients that you will need, you will need tomato puree, okay? As well as, I like to put diced tomatoes in mine. Elbow macaroni. I'm gonna use some mozzarella today. Now, any type of cheese is optional. You don't have to put cheese in yours, but you all know anytime you can put cheese in something, it's going to make it taste better. You hear me? Absolutely it will. So the spices that we're going to use, we're going to use garlic powder, sea salt, cracked black pepper, oregano, parsley, and we're going to use a bay leaf as well, just one bay leaf. And I have one medium onion and one medium bell pepper. It's really up to your discretion whether you wanna use the bell pepper and the onion. You all that know me, you know I love, any time that I can put onions and bell pepper in something, I'm going to and it's gonna give it so much flavor. And what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna chop these veggies up and I'm gonna put them in the hamburger that's cooking. I'm not gonna, a lot of times when you see me use the pepper and the onions, I will pre-saute the onion and pepper I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna chop it up and put it right in with our hamburger that's cooking. So let's start chopping up our veggies just like so. If you all hear something in the background, it's just my dishwasher. I have my dishwasher going right now, okay? So never mind that noise. And I'm just gonna give my peppers just a medium chop. Not too small and not too big, okay? Just like so. I hope you all are having a great day today. So a couple hours ago, I did a video for Monte Cresto. If you all never had that before or you've never seen a video on how to make one, be sure to check that video out because that Monte Cresto was absolutely amazing. It was so good. I was literally, after I ate it, I was thinking about when I was gonna make another one tonight. <laughs> That's how good that was. So be sure to check that video out, absolutely. All right, I'm just gonna chop this just like so. Oh yeah. I'm so excited for this recipe because when I was younger, uh, we were one of those kids that we would eat spaghettios and beefaroni sometimes not often but sometimes we did have those and like the canned ravioli and we enjoyed it but then when you find out what homemade beefaroni tastes like you want to kick that can <laughs> never eat it again and always make homemade beefaroni Absolutely. Homemade is the way to go. And here's the thing. This video will be much longer than the actual cooking process time that it takes to cook this. You know, because I'm talking, I'm pressing uh, pause and different things like that and different editing. Like, like I said, this video is much longer than what it actually really takes to cook. This doesn't take any time. It's just kind of like you just throw everything all together and voila, you have a beautiful dinner on the dinner table in no time. So now, let's go ahead and put our bell peppers in. I do have some sunlight shining in from my window. It's about 70 something degrees outside and I'm so excited. The birds are chirping. My window's open. I got a nice breeze coming through this kitchen window and I'm so excited, right? But then they say tomorrow we have rain, <laughs> 50 degrees and rain. <laughs> so I guess that's how it goes here, right? You just deal with it. Can't do anything about it, can you? <laughs> so I'm just chopping up our onion and I'm not gonna use that whole onion. 
okay? Just get you some in there. It doesn't matter how much you use. You know, that onion and that bell pepper, it's definitely flavor, you know? It always is. That's why I always like to put onions and bell peppers in almost everything that I can. All right, let's get that in just like so to cook with our hamburger. And I'm going to season up our hamburger right now with the garlic, sea salt, black pepper. And we'll go ahead and put some oregano in now. And we'll also put, I'm going to put my bay leaf in right now also, even though I don't have my red sauce in yet. It's just fine. Okay, let's grab my spices. Now we will put, um, this is cracked black pepper. We will put more oregano in when we have our tomato puree in as well. Okay? Beautiful. I like a lot of pepper. Pepper makes it taste good. Now, a lot of people, and you can do this if you want. This is my oregano. Um, you can, let me close my window, guys. My, my, uh, the wind is blowing my spices. Give me just a second. Okay. Got my window closed. Oh, so what I was going to say. If you wanted to, this is something that you can definitely do. You can take your pasta, which is your elbow macaroni, and you don't have to cook it in the water. You can take your dried pasta and you can put it into your meat and your tomato um, sauce and cook your noodles that way. A lot of people will do that. Now, that's really up to your discretion. If you wanna do that, that will be just fine. And some of you might say, but okay, so Gina, if I do do that, how long will my noodles take to cook? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> and I'm being honest, I'm really not sure. It could take 12 to 15 minutes, but I don't think it would take any longer. But what you can always do is, I'm just wiping my stove off, guys. What you can always do is taste one of the noodles. You know, and it's that simple. You taste one of those noodles, and if your noodle's done, then you know your noodles are done. And it's that simple. I'm trying, I'm closing my kitchen window so I can get rid of this beautiful glare that's in the camera. The sun is shining bright, but I don't want it to interfere with my video. Let me know in the comment section if I have a little bit more control of the light. I can't really see my picture that I have in the camera. Hopefully by closing that curtain I let off a little bit of that glare and you all can see down in my pan because I love for you all to be able to see down in my pan just as if you were in my kitchen with me. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more garlic powder, just like so. All right, ground beef is cooking up. We put our bay leaf in early. And now just remember, once your sauce is done, you take that bay leaf out. That way no one bites down into it, okay? Because it's a little bitter if you were to bite down into it. Well, actually it's really bitter, <laughs> but it gives off a really good flavor. Okay, so let's get this ground beef going. And my water has started to boil. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my elbow macaroni noodles in. And all it takes is a good 11 minutes for these noodles to turn out just perfect. But the first thing that you wanna do is always salt your water. Anytime you're making potatoes or noodles, you gotta salt that water, okay? You have to. Let's go in with our noodles. Now this is a one pound box, and I'm gonna use just about all of it. I have this left here, and I'm gonna save those noodles, that little bit, I'm gonna put it in the freezer bag. And that way, next time I make some tuna salad, I'm gonna boil me up some noodles and put that in my tuna salad. Oh yeah, you never tasted that before? You better make you some, because it's absolutely delicious. And then you throw you some fresh peas in that tuna salad. Now we're talking, right? 
So I'm gonna go in, now that we have our noodles in, we have our noodles on a medium high heat. I'm just gonna give it a nice stir, okay? And the reason why I'm stirring it is because you don't want for your noodles to stick together, okay? Sometimes if you don't give it a stir, they'll stick together. And then after this, you don't have to worry about it. Like I said, 11 minutes, they're perfectly done. Be back everyone, we're gonna continue to brown up our beautiful ground beef, and I'll be back. Okay everyone, so our hamburger is just about done. I'm gonna give it about three more minutes because I see a little tiny bit more pink in there. We wanna finish cooking that off. All right, just like so. We're gonna drain all of this oil off of here. You wanna drain every bit of oil because you don't want anything to be oily. You don't wanna digest that, okay? And then my noodles. My noodles are completely done. They've cooked for 11 minutes, and we're gonna drain those as well. And then I'll be back. Okay, everyone. Our hamburger is nice and cooked. Now we're gonna go in with tomato puree. This is a 28 ounce can, okay? I have a second one as well. I didn't use that other full can. And then the diced tomatoes are gonna go in and I wanna drain the juice off of the diced tomatoes as much as I can, okay? Put that in just like so. I love to have the big chunks of the tomato in mine. If you're not that person and you say, oh, but I don't really want chunks in mine. Well, don't use it. And it's that simple, okay? Enjoy it how you like it. All right, let's go ahead and mix this around and we're gonna let that bay leaf, or we're gonna let the sauce soak up some of that beautiful flavor of the bay leaf that we have in here, okay? And then I like to re-season my sauce. So then we're gonna go in, just like so, garlic. That's all we need on the salt, okay? Cracked black pepper, once again. Then we're gonna mix everything in with our noodles that we have in the wok. I do wanna put some more oregano, just because I want to. Makes it taste better. And now, Here's what I want you all to do. It's up to you if you wanna bake yours. Do you wanna bake your beefaroni? If you wanna bake it, then you put you a nice, beautiful layer of whatever your favorite cheese is, put it on top, put it in a baking dish, throw it in the oven until your cheese gets nice and bubbly and golden brown, okay? But I don't wanna do that. What I like to do is once I get everything mixed in and my noodles have a chance to marry with this beautiful sauce, what I like to do is I like to mix in the mozzarella and then anyone that wants extra cheese, they can put it on their self, okay? Because I'm not making a baked beefaroni. I'm making regular beefaroni with some mozzarella mixed in, okay? So now, what I feel like I need to do, and you always want to do this, you always want to taste your dish, because if you don't taste it, you won't know what it tastes like. You won't know if it needs more, you know, more pepper, more garlic. If you taste it, you'll know. So I have a clean spoon here. I'm going to go in and give it a taste. Taste the sauce and see what you think. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's just, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Now there's one ingredient that I almost left out. And I'm so glad that I didn't leave it out, which is sugar. You need some sugar, you need some sugar, you need you some sugar. Put you some sugar in your beefaroni, okay? Not too much, don't get crazy with it guys, okay? That's about enough, that's all you're gonna need. Is it gonna make it taste sweet? No, it's not, but it's gonna give it one delicious flavor, you hear me? Absolutely it is. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh 
Okay, now I'm getting excited, especially after tasting the sauce. Whew. This gives me memories, and I don't even have the noodles in there yet. I have some dinner rolls I'm going to pop into the oven, and we're going to have that for dinner tonight at the Young's house. Let me taste this. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful. And, and listen, guys, don't use, don't use spaghetti sauce. Use tomato puree. Tomato, tomato puree is going to give you that taste of beefaroni. We're going to let this cook for around about 35 minutes before we put our noodles in, okay? We want everything to marry with this sauce. And then after half an hour, we'll mix our noodles and our cheese in. Okay, everybody, look how nice and beautiful. And you see that deep red color? That's that color that you're looking for. That's when you know that your sauce has cooked long enough. Okay, I'm gonna give this a nice stir. Beautiful, my whole house is perfumed. It smells so good from top to bottom, you hear me? I wanna give this one more whirl just to make sure I'm happy with the flavor. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, baby. Mm. Okay, so let's take our noodles that have been drained. Let's put them over here so that we can mix everything. Okay, just going to break my noodles up just a little bit. Put your sauce in just like so. Ooh -wee. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh, you ain't had nothing good until you tasted this before. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Look at this, and you just mix it. And listen at the sound. The sound right here, I live for this sound. Beautiful. What a beautiful sound. The sound of this creaminess. Listen. I love that sound. <laughs> I know I may be crazy. I may just be crazy, but it sounds so delicious to me. When I hear that sound, it does something to me, guys. It gets me so excited. Woo, it gets me excited for beefaroni. This right here is one of my favorite throwback dishes that I haven't had in years. Oh, yeah. This is something you can put on your table. In no time, the kids love it, the adults love it. Hey, feed it to your co-workers. Feed this to your mom, your dad, your grandma, grandpa, everyone. No matter who you feed this dish to, they're going to be happy. You hear me? I want to give this a taste. Oh, yeah. Woo, I'm going to give this a big taste. I want to blow on it first. Then I got to get my rolls out of the oven, everyone. Mm, God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you today. We thank you for your blessings, your love, time, your mercy and understanding. Please forgive us for our sins, Jesus, and help us to forgive others. I pray for my YouTube family that no weapons formed against them shall prosper. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord, for my YouTube family that you bless over them and keep them safe. In Jesus' name, I pray that no weapons formed against the young family shall prosper. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Lord, once again for the roof over our head and the food that you give us. Let's dig in. Let's taste this. Let's taste this. Woo, give that a taste and let me know what you think. Beefaroni 101. I'm going in, guys. Mmm. Oh, it is. You better believe it is. Now watch this. It gets even better. Oh, it gets even better. Let's open up this mozzarella. If you're not a fan of mozzarella, then you know what I like to say. Use what kind of cheese you like. Okay? All right. And if you want to bake this, you bake it. You bake it, you bake it, you bake it. I'm going to mix that part in. <laughs> mm. 
And then what my family likes to do, they just like to, when they grab their bowl and heat it up in the microwave, they like to just put a little bit more cheese on top if they want to. And this right here, what Gina Young calls beefaroni. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this beefaroni, guys. That's how you're supposed to eat it. This is what it's supposed to look like. That's how you're supposed to eat it. And look how beautiful and creamy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Woo! I'm going to go in one more time. Give this a taste. Oh, now you can see that stringy. Look at that stringy cheese. See that? You don't have to put this in the oven. See that? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. One more bite, Gina. One more bite. Woo! This spoon is hot, guys. I just grabbed this spoon out the dishwasher. Woo! I can barely hold on to it. Hold on, guys. I got to hold on a second. Okay, I got the beautiful Mrs. Schubert's dinner rolls out of the oven. They're going to be beautiful on the side. One more taste, guys. And then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to enjoy this with my family. Taste that, guys. Beefaroni. Mm-mm-mm. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads a recipe. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night.